fantastic. I'm so happy you're here. Uh, I can't even, I'm not even sure if I can tell you how much I enjoyed your performance. You were mind-blowingly genius in Sweeney Todd. Really unbelievable. You were fantastic. And I know you, not, not only the, the, the comedy was great, but also your dramatic acting, your singing was beautiful. It made people cry, including me. But uh, you made me laugh, but you, also the accent. You, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. That's all I want. <laughs> Now I get to hear your real voice. I'll talk about this later. I want to talk about the family. Uh, I want to know more about you. I, I know, how old is your uh, son? Oh, he just turned seven, which is crazy. Banana seven. Is seven. You know, a seven is it's he, a fun one. It's is he into age. Halloween? Super, super into Halloween. He wanted to be Marty McFly. I mean, so good, right? I would love that. Me too, but nobody at school knew who Marty McFly was. I mean, come on. What are they thinking, yeah, no, seven-year-olds? They're not ready for Back to the Future yet. <laughs> I but know, not Get yet. ready. It's a great movie. Right? They're going to love Can't it. Wait. Um, um, I was going to be Doc. I was very excited about the wig. Uh, <laughs> that would have been fantastic. I know, but then uh, he changed his mind. Then he was going to be like a werewolf from Goosebumps. And then we finally settled on Beetlejuice, which I feel really good. Classic. How, he loves Beetlejuice? Loves Beetlejuice, but he also has a really um, special love for Michael Keaton. Yes. Right. That's a good. That's a good I guy mean, to love. I feel like I'm raising him right. He's very concerned about what Michael Keaton's doing, how he is. <laughs> um, he wants to meet him very badly. So Michael Keaton, if you're listening, my son would yeah. like to meet you someday. Oh, he's a great guy to meet. I mean the best. Oh, he's a great yeah. guy to meet. Yeah, he's really fun. Wait, but I love he just is interested in the actor Michael Keaton. Yes, because Michael Keaton was also Batman. So he's you know Michael. Batman, Beetlejuice, it's really, really yeah, like, like, exciting time in Michael Keaton's career. Yeah, and so your son has a Beetlejuice costume. Yes, yes. Um, he was very insistent that there was also some male pattern baldness involved in the wig. Um, it's, it's good, There's it's good. a sneak good. peek of what you'll see tomorrow on <laughs> Halloween, walking tomorrow, the streets. Oh yeah! Look at this little guy Look running at around. that, really good. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, he's so cute. So good. Yeah. Next year, he's going to be Birdman. It's great. He's, uh, yeah. Of course, Birdman yeah. is so good, cute. Good, good. Uh, now, you, uh, you were, were you a funny kid, too, just like your son? Well, you know, I liked funny things. I loved, uh, I loved the Carol Burnett show, and I loved Golden Girls, and I loved SNL. I was a big, big SNL kid. I also, I loved The Tonight Show. I used to watch it with my grandpa. So this is like kind of a, like I had the feels. I was good. like, I'm making my debut. Yes, you're making the debut. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For Grandpa. For my Grandpa. I love you, Grandpa. I Come know. on. Also, why was he letting me watch that late at night? <laughs> and Saturday Night Live, too. I know. I had those parents as well. They would let me watch The Tonight Show. And so at good. least I go, can I just stay up to watch Johnny's monologue? Oh, me too. Yeah, the and best. And then I also was very, very interested in Barbara Streisand's skin because I thought it, it must be like butter. It had to be like butter. Oh, my gosh. But I was very into the, you know, very coffee into talk. coffee talk. Very into coffee talk and the church lady. Those were, like, my two bits that I did at parties. From no the way. ages of, like, four to seven, that was, like, my bit. You, you, know. you, you said that you're not very good at taking headshots. No. And, uh, and I go, well, what do you mean? You go, well, I'll bring you two just to show you examples. Yeah. No, this is your first headshot, right? Well, yeah, this is, like, when I was 14, but I look 14. like a woman. I look like a weird woman. Like, why? Why? You're 14 years yeah, old? Yeah, I know I look older there than I do now. It's very <laughs> uncomfortable. I mean, very glamorous, but. So much hair, too. I mean, big hair, there's a lot going on. And then um, there was this, just a series of bad headshots when I was a kid. Like, I, this one summer, you know when Sunnen came out? <gasps> It oh, was yeah. the thing. Oh, it I was totally the did. thing. I did oh, You it. did too. It's so good. Yeah, my sister had it, and I was like, well, let me just try it. And then it turns your hair orange. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Full blown white for me. I was like, oh, I was very platinum blonde. It <gasps> oh. really worked. It worked. I like that character. Yeah. I was like, oh. I was so oh. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to leg pal on using my son, and oh, it was so. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> So that was like July, and then by October, I had a full three inches of root, and it was time to take my new headshots, and um, this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's so cute. You hear that audience reaction? It's like, oh, that's so, so sorry Come for on, you that so this cute. exists. I don't think I've really ever shared this. It's really, this takes a lot of balls to share. Also, my eyebrows. No, I need to get my eyebrows plucked. What are you talking about? It's You're so adorable. Good. Are you oh, kidding me? It's a lot. It's uh, a well, lot. look at this. This, this, this kid grows up to be in Sweeney Todd. Uh, I'm crushing it.
Uh, amazing performance. Uh, the, the story is, is, is pretty dark, but uh, there are a lot of funny parts. And I, I, again, you going down the stairs, there's this physical thing. I'm not spoiling it, because if you can, run and go see this, because January 14th, are you? Got it. Are you wow, leaving? Good for you. Yeah, yeah. Know. Me and Josh Groban, sweet Josh Groban, who's brilliant. You're great yeah. together. You're so great. You're both going. We're both going, yeah. January, are, you, are you sad? Is it bittersweet, or is that oh, you've done 250 performances? You're like, yeah. I mean, it's been one of the most humbling blessings of my career, getting to play this part. I grew up loving Angela Lansbury so much that I used to just say, I want to be her when I grow up, you know, and then I kind of got to be for the last year. So it's been such a blessing, but I'm, you know, gonna gonna miss it. But well, Angela Lansbury, Patti Lapone have done these, this role, and now talk you. Talk about those shoes. Yeah, I know, talk right? You got to, talk about those shoes to fill. <laughs> and you filled it very well, by the way. I, I, I you, you have a picture that you took. You did Wicked? I did Wicked many moons ago. They're actually, they're having their 20th anniversary today. today. Can you believe that? Yeah. All those witches. Yes. I was, I was a witch many, many, many moons ago uh, when I was younger. But on my last performance, um, there's this incredible poster of Angela Lansbury uh, when she did Sweeney Todd at that same theater. And I said, oh, I need to take a picture with Angela Lansbury. Oh, please, please, as Mrs. Levitt. And then we got this picture. So that was like 18 years ago, 17 years ago. And look at you, and now That's you're me, playing. Mrs. Lovett. You're playing Mrs. Lovett. Kind of I mean, bananas. When you, when you do, when you play this role, do you go like, I have a take on this? Or do you go, uh, can I be funny in this thing, or? No, you just pray. You pray. <laughs> <laughs> you, pray you, go. you pray, and then you go to the script, and you say, uh, what does she want? How is she going to get it? And who, who am I talking to? You know, you just go to the basics, and then, and then all those years of Nick at Night and SNL, they kind of seep into, and they just all kind of meld together, and the mat, you know, I don't know. In the it's first kind of maybe... 10 seconds that I'm watching you, you like fly, flop into this thing, and I go, oh my gosh. Like, do you have like bruises and everything everywhere? Yes. You they're, do? they're all covered up right now. No, yeah. <laughs> I wear, you know, I wear a shin guard. I've got some really sensible padding in my, in my skirts, but you know, a good bruise or two means you did it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, but I, I mean, you're un, un, unbelievable. Are, you, you have to, you're gonna miss it, right? Oh, I mean, of course. Yeah, there's this incredible lyric. Um, in the show that, uh, you know, Stephen Sondheim, the, one of the greatest ever to have lived, he said, slow, love, slow, time so fast, now goes quickly, see, now it's past, soon will come, soon will last, wait. And it means just stay in the moment, because yeah. we're so blessed to be here. Uh, you are unbelievable, pal. Come back whenever you want. You Thank have to, I'm loving it. Annalie Asford, Sweeney Todd is now playing at the Lund Fontaine Theater. We'll be right back with stand-up from Jesus Trejo. Stick around,